Alright, so I need to find somebody to kill. Possibly. I'd rather shoot someone who wants to die. I'd rather shoot someone who wants to die. I'd rather shoot someone who wants to die. Never mind, I think I know the answer. I'm pretty sure I know who wants to die. Is the answer really going to be this simple? I was kind of told to shoot him a long time ago. I guess I should have done that. Don't judge me for this, Max. It's for his own good. Bless you. Monster. Monster. Hmm. I've never handled a monster before. I'll have to figure out how this works exactly. So, hello everyone. Welcome back to this game. This was actually really easy to figure out. He's dead. But I'm sure he's used to that by now. If he's lost in thought, it's not easy to condemn a guy with no soul. Eh, he's died before. Uh, you're not gonna say anything about this whole situation, are you? Y you're really engrossed in those papers, aren't you? Good luck, Sybil. We just killed your wedding planner right in front of you, and you didn't even bat an eyelash. I mean, that's convenient, I guess, but. Dang. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and take care of this now. It's for your own good, kid. It'll make the eulogy more interesting. What did you f***ing do? Give that f***ing back! Settle down, Timmy. The doctors say if you exert yourself... Those f***ing stole my f***ing f***ing Ah, finally! A simple, straightforward death. Let me just look at his file and we can go straight off to... Hello. Is that really this kid's file? Harry, please. You can't expect us to do your job for you. I could have sworn it was smaller. Kid must have really been busy on his deathbed. You should have seen it. It was like every single letter ever written to Hot Bunny combined into one debaucherous rampage. Oh well, you can tell me about it on the way to hell then. Later. Lit says, what a potty mouth, lol. Uh, he, he had Tourette Syndrome. A, a terminal Tourette Syndrome. He's in a better place now. Just kidding. He's in hell. My gosh, this game. How are you holding up, Jimmy? I'll just say you suck a Timmy would have wanted it that way. All right, back to hell we go. Amazing how simple that was to figure out. Are you, are you here now, Harry? Nope. All right, we wanted to try the microwave, didn't we? Let's put the coffee in the microwave and see what that does for us. The microwave doesn't have a setting for tentacle monster coffee. Well, it was an idea anyway. There gotta be some place we can use this coffee mug. Unless it is a red herring. You really never know with this game. So I'm looking at my stream information and it says that I have seven viewers. For me, that is awesome. Hi everybody! I hope you are enjoying yourselves. I certainly am. Now, let's go ahead and head on over to the cooking show diorama. As a reminder, these are the personal hells of people that we know. In including Sam and Max's car for some reason.
Hello there, wretch. Now, earlier we discovered that if there is any swearing on this show, it's going to get cancelled. That would be very good news for Grandpa Stinky. Hiya, Jimmy. Is your soul finally at peace? No, I'm not at peace, Mr. Max. I'm ecstatic to be on stage with such a genius. Hmm, what was that? What is it doing? Calm down, kid. Did you taste her nut log with whipped Simply divine. Oh my! Oh no! And the smells. It's like teen Ooh. with a I simply cannot allow this. This show is cancelled! Well, that was exciting. What? Cancelled? You're finally free, Grandpa Stinky. Seeing the denied everything. Made to suffer like I suffered. I can't remember when I've been so happy. Hmm, was that a happy ending or not? I just can't tell anymore. I suppose I should be grateful. But I'm not! Until you reprobates get the rights to my soul, I still can't leave! Aha! I was right! So, one diorama down, four to go! Oh, we can't click Grandpa Stinkies. That's a bummer. Okay, well, let's go ahead and try out another diorama, shall we? No, I may need it again later. Don't use it on yourself. You know, I can click through you anytime you're not holding something. So... I know we are all interested in finally seeing Bosco, who actually has lost his clothes this time. But we gotta find out how a car goes to hell. You think the car's gonna talk? I hope the car talks. What's the hold up, Grandpa? Damn it! This is as fast as it goes, little buddy. We are in hell! Oh, this was unexpected. But hey, good news! We're going slow enough that my string can probably actually handle this. No gun usage here. How do we... We, we can't open our inventor either. Well, let's, uh, do some flips. Hmm. I guess we're looking up at the dioramas up there? I'm not entirely sure what I'm seeing. Wonder what would run into- oh, I suppose we could try clicking us. No? We still got our stickers. You know, considering how often I try to go for 100%, I'm starting to feel bad that I have not made the effort to get all the decal stickers that I can. Uh, there's no reason to... I just thought of something. Oh, but first, Beer Force thought of something. Half on the ramp. Sure, let's see if we can flip the car. Well, I tried. Didn't seem to actually do anything. But I can kind of sit over here and let that happen some more and see if anything actually happens. But nothing, nothing now. So, back to the cops. Now that they don't have a patient, maybe they can actually do something for us in regards to the car. 
If only there was a shortcut out of this hellhole. Brady, Brady, Brady. We've taken a tremendous hit in efficiency. Are we going to have to demote you back to hourly? No, 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 sir. I'll do better. Hey, Lucifer, we want to talk to you. What? I'm quite busy. Set on an appointment with my secretary. Man, Satan's a jerk. Who does he think he is? We're gonna have to do some more damage to get his attention. Well, at least we got a cutscene on the way back. It is interesting how some places we can run and other places we can only walk fast. I wonder if Season 3 they'll allow us to run everywhere. It's possible. I mean, Season 2 is what allowed us to run in the first place. So there's bound to be some sort of improvement next season. Can't you guys upgrade the DeSoto? The nitrous speed upgrade is only for vehicles in working condition. We're sorry, but your vehicle is completely dead. Well, in that case... Where are you guys getting enough nitrous to do car upgrades? Bluster Blaster was giving oh, yeah. gas to ease his suffering after his recent injury. Wait, you've been selling the... And the... Have you been working on any new cool augmented reality games? We're sorry, we've been too busy tending to the injured and infirm. <laughs> okay, so none of that is actually relevant right now. So long, cops. Stay virtuous! If only we could figure out where the nitrous is. But then again... If we didn't know where the nitrous was, um... Hmm, never mind. I, I lost track of what I was saying. Are you going to serve a purpose, Mama Bosco? That'd be like beating a dead horse. Except the horse is a ghost and the riding crop is a bullet. I wonder if Flint would be interested in coffee. Nothing doing. Guess not. I don't think anyone wants to hear about Stinky's early years. Oh well, let's head back down and check out Bosco. We'll figure this other stuff out later, but for now, there's still stuff we can do. Oh! I say as I was taking a drink. Maddie brings up a good point. Maddie says. Hmm, I wonder, Sybil had a bad habit of always reaching for her coffee. I'm not entirely sure what that would do for us, but sure, we could try giving it to Sybil. I see Jurgen's monster is back to being alive. Enjoying all this quality time with Sybil? Please kill me. We did that once already, though. I'm not sharing it. I'm gonna have my cup of joe. Okay, fine. Use it on yourself. I'll save this for a caffeine emergency. Whee! Caffeine emergency. Perhaps for the car? I don't know. Well, it was an idea, Maddie, but apparently not really of use. So let's go ahead and head on back down. I'll at least try using the coffee on the diorama. I don't necessarily know if that'll do anything. I mean, the diorama is kind of open. No siree. Nope. Well, that was an idea. Alright, time to visit Bosco. Oh no! More 
people coming to watch me. Bosco, you're... You. Silence. Silence. It's okay, baby. We're all still watching you. For eternity. Well, this is fun. Wonder if there's some way to get rid of that. Oh, hey, hey there, Bosco. Don't look at me. Trust me. We don't want to see you any more than you want to be seen. Ah, humans need fur. Why are you standing naked on a stage in front of your mother, your therapist, and a Mexican? Wait, wait. I know this one. I'm in some kind of one-man play, but it never ends, and I don't know any of the lines. Bosco's Personal Hell, a play in an infinite number of acts. Phew, I thought waiting for Godot sucked. What do you have to do in this play? Well, I just got done playing a game of Truth or Dare with all my ex-girlfriends. And after this, I gotta get a root canal while taking an algebra quiz. Oh, I didn't even study. Why don't you just leave? I can't. I gotta perform. They're watching me. Who? Them! I scared myself. <laughs> Who's watching you again? Them! Who's watching you again? Them! You know I gotta. I don't think anything's gonna happen, though. Who's watching you again? No. So, how are things? Oh, you know, not too bad. Except, I'm in hell! Eternal damnation sure made somebody cranky. Cheer up, Bosco. None of this is real. It's all an illusion. What are you talking about? Of course it's real. I've been pinching myself to be sure. My face is real. My chest is real. My stomach is real. My okay, we get your point. Do you have any... Boy, I'm standing buck naked on an empty stage miles below the surface of the earth. Does it look like I have anything? <laughs> Do you have any chainsaw gasoline? I really am in here. <laughs> uh, I forgot what I was going to say. See you around, naked Bosco. I don't think I'll ever stop seeing you. Save me! Uh, we'll, we'll do it. So what's this? Ooh! It's nitrous oxide. It looks like Bosco has some dental work in his future. It'll be twice as hilarious without anesthesia. Now how do we get this into the car? Unless we needed to put it in the, the DeSoto above. It looks pretty comfy. If you find getting your teeth yanked out of your skull comfy. Hola, Demon Mariachi. Hola. What's your story? I got a job watching Bosco for all eternity. I don't have that much time. Can we just call it a day now? No, I just can't look away. It's like a car accident or a funeral, but not as beautiful. Senor, I am watching you all the time. T-H-E-M! <laughs> hmm. Howdy, Demon Sybil. Howdy! What you doing? I'm analyzing Bosco, and it's causing him excruciating, never-ending agony. Wow. Sorry, didn't mean to brag. Well, Bosco, I've almost gotten to the root of your problems. But I'll have to keep studying you. Forever and ever. Stop looking at me, woman! Hi, Demon Mama Bosco. That's Ms. Demon Mama Bosco to you. What are you doing? I'm watching Bosco suffer eternally. Isn't it great? Uh, you know, it's all right. I've still got my eyes on you, sugar. Sweet Tabasco, make it stop! <laughs> hey, Miss Demon Mama Bosco. Lay off Bosco, will ya? Ain't nobody gonna tell me what to do. If only we could get actual Mama Bosco down here. Hey, Demon Sybil, leave Bosco alone. But I have to watch him. What else am I going to do? That's a good question. There's probably an answer. Take a break, why don't you? No, I just can't look away. It's like a car accident or a funeral. 
Well, you know, there is a funeral going on somewhere, but we haven't actually found it, so I'm not sure if it exists. Wonder if one of these would be helpful. I want to show you something. I got all the show I need right here. Okay, we are definitely intended to give these people things. I want to show you something. No thanks. Boss posts such a mess. I can't stop watching him. I want to show you something. I just can't look away from Bosco. So I wonder what we could possibly... Well, there's this solution. I'm not sharing it. I'm gonna have my cup of joe. Okay, that's not it. So I wonder if we can only share this once Bosco is no longer naked. In which case, I wonder how we get him not naked. Nah, no, I might need a snack later. Why would you need a snack of tar cake? Is that actually going to be important? I want to show you something. How's that going to save me? How is that going to save me? Whee! Well, we can't go up the stairs. Let's ask Max. Bosco's naked. I'm doing everything I can not to think about that. On natural. You're not helping. In the wrong. <laughs> I'm not listening. In the bar. <laughs> in his birthday suit. <laughs> Shut up. Nude. <laughs> These demons must really be starved for entertainment if this fascinates them. The circus never comes to hell. But the squirrel nut zippers will be here next Friday. Hey. Remember this place? No. That makes none of us. Kind of think of it, this is a set that we haven't actually seen before. Huh. Shall we? Let's. Yes, let's. Let's go ahead and call it quits for today. At the very least, we have a thing to try in the next stream, but that'll have to wait because I am out of time. So, I'm going to go ahead and thank my patrons for being my patrons, including my special sponsor, Lit Dragon. Next time, we'll be delivering this nitrous oxide to our car friend, I guess. And that'll release that soul. How to release the other souls, though, I'm not entirely sure. But we know that as soon as we collect all five souls, we will have a meeting with the devil himself. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.